who were nudists and sure I didn't like the view when they were weeding the garden but I learned a lot from them I'll tell you that always wear an apron when you're frying bacon <laughs> that woman went from being an Acadian to a Brazilian in the blink of an eye you just got to mind your own business to be a good neighbor and don't borrow tools that you don't return talking to you Margaret we were at a key party Margaret borrowed my husband both of them live upstairs I'm a good sport I'll laugh at my outdated 80s joke because that's what a good neighbor does. Well, small gestures count for a lot if you want to be a good neighbor. My neighbor invited me upstairs to her lingerie party. I don't even like people knowing what candle scent I use, but I went to be a good sport. And I bought myself a pair of unedible underpants which was a good thing because the next time my sugar was low, I was in a traffic jam and I was sitting there chewing on those chocolate underwear. And I tell you, I was so happy that I didn't go into a diabetic coma. <laughs> you know, I don't know why we can't get along. It's easy to be a good neighbor. You just share a postal code and maybe an inappropriate kiss on New Year's Eve. You know what I do? is I just don't follow people on Twitter. I don't want to know what people are thinking. And when things get negative, you know what I do? I say, hey, I like your shirt. <laughs> I don't like the shirt. I hate the shirt. But I say it because that's what a good neighbor does. <laughs>